Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Is Not A Test Battle Report. I'm back with Jay, hey. my This Is Not A Test Wasteland homie. And we'll be running through the new Wasteland Companion, which is a uh, new expansion for This Is Not A Test, done by Joey, um, which adds two new missions, a whole new Wasteland encounter deck at the end. Yep. Um, so there's all, all kinds of extra things that can happen. You have a new sort of like, um, we deal your cards in and see what the encounters are. A whole new set of like scenarios and things that can happen. More mutations. And more, more mutations. Skills. New warbands. I'm using the Reclaimer, or the Outcast Reclaimers, which are like the outcast from Fallout 3 and you're using... I'm still using the, the regular mutants. The regular mutants, but there's also totems, yeah. or totem totem tribals, and um, I think a new Downwinder or something deck too. Yeah. There's a bunch of bunch, bunch of new warbands, um, and then two new missions that are actually like variable missions, and I really like these missions. The first one is, um, Ash, sorry, the first one is Just Cause, no. The first one is Just Cause, yeah. um, and it's a um, variable mission, variable deployment, and then Ashes Dashes. <laughs> and both of these have, di like, they'll play differently every time because you roll for um, your secondary objectives and your deployment styles and they're not going to feel the same every time you play them. So we'll be running through both of these back to back. Uh, we'll start with Just Cause and then play Ashes to Ashes. We have two new warbands which are kind of the survivors of other warbands or some, some old faces mixed in, some new faces for you. We don't know where yours came from. They might have come from Orbit. But, you know, don't tell Kevin some better that. <laughs> uh, and then um, we got some new scenery and stuff too. So we'll share the table, we'll share our warbands and we'll get started. And so here is my outcast reclaimer warband, the survivors of 905. Vault 905 falling at the end of Swineland, having their people dragged out by the remnants of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, so Atticus Winch here is my uh, renegade reclaimer. He likes to winch things out of the rubble. Um, now, in the Renegade Reclaimers, you have to have all of your characters in power armor, but it doesn't count towards the relic limit or ca count as a relic. Oh, wow. So I got my one relic, which is going to be his laser carbine. Uh, he's wearing power armor, which is functioning. Um, he's a leader. He is move five, melee six, range six, strength six, metal seven, defense six with two wounds. Um, and then his adjutant here is uh, Brother Lane. <laughs> B, B lane, uh, and he's got uh, a minigun and a suit of power armor, and he is a adjudicator, which is the heavy weapon version of the reclaimers. Now he's wearing vault tech power armor um, and armed with a Brotherhood of Steel minigun because he was supposed to be one of the security from uh, Vault 905. Then we have Calhoun, who's got his rifle uh, and combat armor. He is a aspiring reclaimer. He's been talked into um, trying to reclaim some of the local settlements in and around Swineland in the uh, the Niagara Peninsula from the mutants who are now leaderless and uh, breaking into factions. And then finally we've got Joe Rowe and Joe Rowe over here. He's just got a club and an assault rifle uh, and he is just another survivor, one of the former security guards of Vault 905. So there it is, that's my current starting uh, Renegade Reclaimer Warband uh, and they will be taking on some mutants. And here we have the crew of the Swine Trek uh, what do we got? Uh, so they're heading out into the wastelands to uh, to purify the uh, the real mutants, which are the the people of Vault Nine Hundred Five. <laughs> Humanity. Um, so first up in the center there with the amazing Pompadour, uh, that's Captain Link Hart, uh, Link Hogthrob. Uh, so he's got a biohazard suit to protect him from all of your weird mutations. Uh, a laser carbine. He's my leader, so he's assertive and bold. And uh, every once in a while, he gets a little gassy, so he's got a poisonous belch. Nice. Uh, to his left. Camera right is Dr. Julius Swinepork. Uh, so he is a mutant emissary, which is similar to an alpha mutant, except they actually can start with the medic skill. Nice. So he is actually the doctor of my warband. He is also wearing a biohazard suit. Um, he's carrying an aerosol gun, uh, and he has the ability to absorb energy. Nice. Uh, to the captain's right is Ensign Piggy. She's my alpha mutant. She is also wearing a biohazard suit, armed with my second laser carbine. Uh, she has Careful Blow, which is a close combat ability that uh, allows you to negate armor. I believe it's called the hi <laughs> Um And she has a fearful reputation because she's well known to be the most dangerous member of the warband. I can see that. Uh, to her right um, is we're fulfilling our Canadian comp content obligation, so that is Saint Hubert. <laughs> um, he's the latest of the chicken men. That's right. Uh, so he's armed with an assault rifle and he has wings. Uh, and then to the front is Mallard, uh, and he is my mutant gunner. He's got a light machine gun, the up-armed ability, and he also has wings. Nice. Mallard. We'll set up for Just Cause, which is a um, chance encounter between two warbands. Now, in Just Cause, uh, the board doesn't need any particular things set up, but we will nominate some points to be objectives throughout the game. Our mission simple, get the most victory points, and we have to roll to see what we're trying to do. So roll D6 for me and see what our mission's gonna be. 
It is a one, which is my piece of the wasteland. Decide which of the possible objectives is the most central in the end of the game. For each rank and file model a warband has within two of the objective, the warband gets a victory point. Similarly, specialists are worth two, and VPs and elites are worth three, and leaders are worth four. So we're trying to hold the center of the battlefield, which will be probably this pile of rubble here. There's some important ship component in it. It's for deployment now, and we will get a... One as well, which will be opposing corners. Player with the lowest warband chooses a uh, table. Uh, corner deploy their models from the opposite one. You can be 12 inches from that corner, basically. Uh, and then specialist has this duty. Subtract one from the die result and see if there's a wasteland encounter. 10 to see what our wasteland encounters is going to be minus one. So we have one, which will be radioactive zones. Three train visa will be radioactive. Two of them. Scattering from the middle. The purple one will be the direction and then the distance for the other one. It's going to be three plus seven, so 10 inches. From the middle, so basically like in that. here, basically just put it at the edge of the table, right edge of the thing. Yep. Perfect. There we go back that way, eight inches, just like around here. Yeah. So we come within three. You roll a D three and a D six. D three X three is the intensity. D six is how big the actual radiation zone is. So we'll roll off for deployment. Whose side we're picking? I got an eight to your three, so I will choose. I like this corner. I think this corner a little bit better because otherwise. Yeah, no, I like this corner a little bit better because then it'll be mixing it up in the middle a little bit more. We've got Calhoun over here with uh, Brother Lane. Uh, then we have Atticus, and over here is Joe Rowe. It's down, you've got... Uh, so we've got Mallard, Saint Hubert, yep. and then uh, the pig crew Ensign, is in Ensign the house Piggy. getting yep. ready to bust out. Ensign Piggy, Julius Swine Pork, and Link Hogthrob. There we go. Ready for turn one. So rolling for initiative. Let's see who's going first. I got an eight to your uh, three. Yeah, that's you. I'm gonna make you activate first. By activating Link, he is going to, I think he's just gonna move, move. So he's gonna go to the door. Bust it open. And then, yoink. And come down the porch and around this way. I don't see how many activations he gets. Totally forgot. <laughs> it's okay. So I need a three. Hey, yeah. you did it. So he's so. Good. Someone else can activate. He's gonna go. So What's her medal? Her medal is six. Six, four plus. No, oh. she gets one activation and it passes over to me. So you can do a single She's move. She's gonna move through the house to there. Over to me, we're gonna have Joe Rogo. Uh, he's got the motivator nearby. He's only medal five, but he'll be medal six because of the motivator skill. Four plus, gets it, so he gets two actions. He'll double walk. Five, around this corner into here. And he's also gonna enter a building. Whoop. Just kicking open the door. My cop senses said there's something wrong, so I busted the door in. There you go. So we're gonna go over to um, Mr. Calhoun. He has a medal of five as well. Um, so plus one again for being within six of the boss. Gets it for double action. He's gonna walk, walk. He'll head up five. And then five again. And just take cover behind this. Lane. One! Fails! Only has to move once. Ah, uh, yes. You Guess what that means. Armor? He's in power armor, which means his armor shuts down. You're now the new um, Mr. Wimper. Mr. Wimper. So we have to make a <laughs> test to try to fix our power armor. Uh, and it's, we have to fix it twice, basically, to try and get it moving again. So on the first one, um, he's making a metal test, an intelligence test. On a four, seven. So he's going to get one of the, the brokes off it's it. All to the gates. It's just the boss left. So you get yours. Uh, I can activate Mallard. Metal five. He is metal six, oh, six. Five. Five. <laughs> five up. I'm shooting slightly less now. Yep. Okay. He does fly, which means he can get in the roof of this thing so if he he's wants. He's walk. Yeah, I know how this goes. Yep. Boom. Just basically, he's on the edge. Yeah. It's anti-bail. It's anti-bail. And he rolls a five up again. Yeah, he rolls metal five. Nope, gets nope. one action. So single activation for him. And he'll walk around oh, the edge. Uh, there you go. Uh, well, he'll fly over it. Oh, right, because he flies. Boss, he needs a three plus. He needs a three plus metal test. He gets two actions. Oh, jeez, we really need to stay within six of him though. So we're gonna go five, and just stay right within six of our friend, so that he doesn't hopefully poop the bed again. Activation the, the is Doctor Swine Pork. Doctor Swine Pork on a four. Uh, he yes, six. He's yeah. metal six. Gets it. Yeah. Past Piggy out yep. the door. Down here. Behind the boss. And, there and that's turn. Boys. Turn game. We go to turn two. All our finish counters come off. We're gonna roll for initiative. Jeff, you get an eight to my four. So I got fifteen. Uh, so you get to go first, okay. or you can make me go first. Let me go first. All right. Don't don't mess this up. Okay. So we get two actions. So we're gonna try and fix our armor again. Uh, we need a metal test. 
<laughs> we're gonna fail. Uh, it's not an initiative roll though. So second action, we're gonna try again. And we do. So we're gonna fix our power, but just be standing here. Making an initiative roll here for Calhoun, and he will pass as well. He's gonna spend two actions to go on hold. He's gonna go, gets plus one for the boss. Oh, it's an you. 11. Uh, he's gonna move five. So move around the corner here. So don't forget. Oh, it's right, if I come within three of the radiation zone. I'm gonna not come within three of the radiation zone. You didn't wear zone. your biohazard suit. That's right. You gotta be We're careful around that stuff, second son. Second move over to here, because we don't want to go too close to that. It's the boss that he gets to go. He needs a three plus to activate. And he gets it, so he's gonna get two actions. And we're just gonna move, move, I think. We're gonna move five over to here. And then we're gonna move five more in behind this, but then stay within six of our friends. We're all done. I'm gonna start with Mallard. I bet you are. Uh, so he needs a five? One action. Yeah! Oh, just the one. Just the one. It passes back to me, but you're just doing your mini models. Yeah. So he walks forward. Oh, it comes where I can see you. It comes where I can see you. I'm gonna unhold you. Yes, two, because you're in light cover and you move this turn. Uh, and that means I will be hitting you on a uh, on range combat two then. So that's gonna be on an N08. Oh, he's actually better than that. He's five. So I'm range combat three. So I need a seven with my rifle. Cranks it, really, because it's the only shot I have. Uh, so it is so... damage. I think it's defense six. Whoa! 14. Oh, that's gonna be a wound. We'll take a wound. He's down. Whoops, he's only got one on. Uh, he's down, and that's back to you, rolling for metal. Sandy Bear. Bear. How many actions does he get? Just gonna get one. <sighs> flap, flap. Is he gonna go over the wall, straight to line of sight, or? Yeah. Because that's what I can't see past. Right. Uh, Dr. Swinepork. Dr. Swinepork. He's gonna roll and get a pair of actions. He's so he can get twice. He's gonna walk, walk. Stay golden, buddy. Actually, work. this is probably the best example where somebody could be going waka waka. Waka waka and a cha cha cha. Metal fast. She's yeah, good. She's golden. Two actions. So five is there, and then five is. Head in that corner. There. Dan. Hog throb. Three. He's good. He's metal seven. All leaders are metal seven, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I thought he was 16. He might oh, be I six. He's good. Not. Okay, I think so. Uh, leaders are usually pretty brave. Good to go. End of round, I've scored one VP for taking out your specialist, and we remove our activation counters and roll for initiative. Three, let's see what we got. Ooh, we tied. I think we roll again. I can't remember if there's a, oh, my one will fail if you rolled anything else. You rolled a two, so you get to go first. Yeah, link hog throb. You got an A. Uh, you got a laser. see how many actions I have first. All right, metal task threes. Gets two. Uh, so I have two. So I am not going to aim. I'm okay. going to try and snap off two shots at you. Uh, you only fire once, remember each round. Shoot, yeah, because you don't have burst. <laughs> um, okay, so I am range six. Okay. So normally I would need a four. Two dice pick the highest because it's laser. You do. I Makes picked the one that's higher. Yes. Ro, he's the best. He's going to go. And some piggy is up. She's over here. She's going to make her metal test. Yep, and she's going to be motivated. Two. Oh, still not going to make a difference. Make it. One action. Darn. All right. She is gonna just walk up behind Hog Throb. Rub his shoulders lovingly. That's, <laughs> that makes sense. That's, that's Let's resolve this hit. You did a laser, which I think is a seven. It's Six on old Joe Rowe. Seven, 13. 13. To 13. So I am tying. As for him, he uh, passes with a five, but I am cowardly. And I failed. Totally a factor for poor Joe Rowe. Uh, and I believe he ducks prone. Scary! Well, we didn't like that very much. So we're gonna have to do some more shooting to you. Uh, we're gonna try and activate, let's say Calhoun. He's gonna get motivated with a one and fail. I'm just gonna pop a shot off then, I guess, into uh, Lance Hogthrob. So he can't aim, so he's gonna be minus one. For Link Hogthrob, don't Link. pretend you don't Link. know who he is. Link Hogthrob, so minus two. So he um, has a five normally, goes to a three, then a seven. Miss. Sandy Bear and the doc left, who's gonna go? Uh, so Dr. Swinepork first. Dr. Swan Fork on a four, Fuck. cranks it. He is good, so he is going to move. Five. And yeah, he's gonna move again, so he's gonna move up into cover. Take cover right. behind the objective. Yeah. I have found the glowing rock. It will be Sandy Bear. Get him. Nope, nope. Sandy Bear is just unwilling to participate today. Uh, yeah. Take a shot. Try. Stay in the open, take a shot, might yeah. as well. Uh, well, you're not in the open, you're prone. No, you're in the open. <laughs> you oh, just yeah. can't move. <laughs> uh, so I'm prone, so I'm in hardcover now. And that means minus three for range minus hardcover. Three, 
So normally I need a six, so I need a nine. Nine plus him. And you're putting all your uh, things into shooting? He's an assault rifle, right? I only have one action. Well, yeah, but you put as long as you put all your AP into shooting, you get an extra shot. Oh, I keep thinking it's too yeah, AP. Yeah, then yes, I am. Okay. So not nine. Missed, and that's a jam, and a jam potentially. And then what's your reliability? Second shot is he runs out of bullets, spraying them wildly into the rusted containers. Don't fail me now. Let's do this. B, uh, Brother Lane's gonna go. Ten. He's in off to the races. Uh, we're gonna move. We can't move him fire because this thing's bulky anyway. So we're just gonna move move ten and go. I guess just to here. Come on, Joe Rowe. You're not within six. I don't think of the boss. I think I'm too far away. So you're not motivated. So you're just you're doing this on a five. Gets it. So he. Uh, is going to just, I guess, stay where he is, aim, and shoot Dr. Pork. Two shots, because he's putting all of his AP into um, shooting with an aim bonus. So, yes, let's do this. Uh, I have a range combat of five. You're in hard cover for minus two, but I'm inside half range. So I can't concentrate and still get my burst, so I'm just going to do three shots at minus two. So on sevens, first one. Hits, second one. Hits, third oh, one. Uh oh, burns. Misses. He hits hit twice. Sevens food. Can't do this. Can't walk this close to the hungry Vault 905ers. Uh, and then we get the boss left. Now Bashad at Dr. Swine Pork as well, and he'll actually uh, concentrate. So he gets plus two, minus two, and he's in short range laser rifle, which means he's going to hit on a low number. That'll do it. Peg, that'll do it. Activation. So let's resolve the two from Joe Rowe first. Uh, it's a strength seven assault rifle. Defense. Defense six. Do you get plus one from the suit? Uh, the suit's plus one against melee attacks. Okay, gotcha. Uh, tied, so or sorry, actually plus no, one to me. So you take a wound. Yeah. Does he have two? No. All right, he's down. We're on turn four. Let's roll to see who's activating first. People are people are getting close to the runaway spot. And again, <laughs> stop that. Yes. Yeah. Two. Beat, two beats one again. Oh, we're gonna activate Ensign Piggy. Oh, she's got metal of good, so she gets two actions. So she is going to where did I put my walk around to the garbage bags. She's gonna move, and then she's gonna snap a laser carbine shot off at Joe Rowe. Uh oh, two dice pick the highest because laser carbine. No, uh, Lance. Gonna activate Link. Lance. Link. Lance. Link. Link. Hog throb. and he. Gets two actions. It's oh. five. Jumping through the trash. Taking a shot. He is also going to take a shot at Joe Rowe. Not Joe Rowe, but two uh, has to be the highest. Uh, so short range, hard cover. So he needs sixes. Sixes. Two pick the highest. Cranks it. You need a double there to fail. Um, so okay, you've got. Saint Hubert. Saint Hubert can go, yep. Uh, so we'll activate him. Two. Uh, one so action. One jam. Okay. Joe Rowe, so defense six seven. against seven. He's just laughing, just laughing. For him, he's uh, he's not happy about being shot anymore. And he's good, but he has to reroll because he's a coward. And he fails. Your cowardice he's, sickens me, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got to keep falling. Uh, well, he's already in cover, so he's going to stay prone. He'll move out of line of fight. So he can't Let's see. try and activate Brother Lane. Is Brother Lane within six? He is just. So we're going to do a metal test on a five. Goes to a four. Fails. That's one action. He's just gonna fire as many guns. Hail of lead and burst with this thing, but I can't move or fire it. Um, so I will be range combat five, long range for four, uh, hail of lead for three, and then hard cover two one. So I get four shots looking for nines. It's gonna be great. Nine cents. First round is all in a link heart hog throb. Nope. And then second one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Second one. Nope. Uh, but that will jam me, which means I get three counters. He's the barrel inefficiently. Activate. And get plus one for being within motivator range. He does activate on a four. Uh, and then he will... Oh, we need to move up. He'll concentrate and shoot. We're going to do it. We're going to concentrate. So we get plus two. Uh, minus one for range. Minus two for cover. So it's minus one overall. So rifling. Uh, effective BS of four. So I hit on a six. Hits. He's going to go. He's going to try and activate. How many actions does he get? One ends my turn, but you're tapped out. So he's just gonna stand up from prone. 
and be done. There's all the hit, hit on Link now to see what, actually no, we still don't do it until I'm all done, my guys, because I don't get to, to see if he lives or not. Oh, I thought it was a No, sense. no, no, as soon as, as soon as I fail, I'm just rolling for AP right now, because you're out of models. It's only even hands over what I see. Um, so for him, he's gonna try to activate. He needs a three, and he passes. He's gonna get two AP. He's just gonna move, move, move five around, and move five again. Try to head towards cover. We're just gonna head behind the couch, actually. Link does, takes a hit from a rifle, which is strength seven. It's against seven, he's got two wounds though. Uh, so take a wound, that's it. Wound. It makes a grazing test, see if he goes prone. Your metal seven though, so three plus. Fine, five. Top of, let's see who's going first. Not me. <laughs> that's gonna be me, full show. <laughs> full show. Here you go, big numbers, no whammy. Oh yeah, two AP. She's golden. Um, so sorry, he's your leader, right? He is. So I hate him the most. He do, you do, yes. But he's also wearing power armor. <laughs> well, activating Stanley Metal Show, no, you got your two actions. Yep. So you're gonna try and shoot Joe Rowe, so it's a spotting test. So What's you're aiming that? first, yep, and then you try and spot him, so you have to try and shoot someone further away. Because he's gonna be closer. Oh, is he? I think so. Test, see so if four. she can spot someone closer. She's fine, yep. so she shoots Joe Rowe. So she I gets see. two pick the highest, and you're minus one for light cover, plus two for aiming, and you're in short range. So... Plus one overall, so you need threes. Four threes. Cranks him with a crit. And who's going next? Uh, Captain Hogthrob. Let's do it, Lance. Uh, Link. So Lance. he's going to aim. Yep. And he's going to shoot at your leader. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to roll for your metal test. Test. Yep. Activation. Yeah. It's 2 AP. So he's going to aim. Then he's going to shoot at your leader. So should be the same. So four. Yeah, light cover. You're in short range. You're plus one overall. So you're not so twos. Threes. Twos? Are you six or seven? You're six. He's so still six. threes. Yeah. Threes. Um, Concentrating and. Cranks him, so he gets so hit as well. Here we go. How many AP? Uh, Still just one, but he clears his last jam. Let's uh, resolve our hits here. So against seven Joe Rowe, seven to six. Ugh. Oh yeah, oh, he's yeah. super dead. No, I'm a medic, so he's just gone. 10 against my boss. Oh, oh it's, it's not so much. Nope. He, he laughing, but he's gonna make a graze test. Five, and actually, sorry, he's unfazed. He cannot be graze tested down. So he just stands there. Well, let's activate uh, this little fella. And he will not be terrible, but he doesn't get his um, two actions. So he's just going to clear a jam. Six. Actually, he clears two jams. Ooh, fancy. And he has field strips, so he clears three jams. Cleaner this gun. Uh, then we'll have Calhoun go. He's going to take uh, shots and aim at your boss. So he'll aim, shoot. You're in hard cover, which offsets to concentrate, but long range. So I hit on a six. And I hit. So I'll hit from a rifle. The boss is going to move, so he's not going to concentrate. He'll move one, and then from that corner, four more. And just head up behind the table here. Try and blast with his carbine. Last one for moving, and you're in hard cover for two, which means um, I will be range four, so I need a six or better here. Two dice, because of the carbine. Get one, and it's not a double, so don't run into ammunitions. So you hit with that laser two. We're done, so we'll resolve the boss hit on Link, because he'd like the XP. Uh, strength seven. Nope. No, it yes. does, and he's out. Uh, and then the other one's irrelevant, and I get XP for the boss. Oh, turn six, right, thanks down. Time. Well, Piggy's gonna have to make her bottle chest right now to see if you run away. And her medal is... Six. Six. Four plus. She Loves it. Good, gonna stick around. Okay, Hubert. Bottle test, three. He's, he's gonna, gonna make a his. flea. Which is deployment zone. So he's just gonna he'll just head towards the, the corner of the table there. Yep. Oh, corner. Yeah, it's your turn deployment zone. And he'll be fine. And that's his break failed. Five. You do. He's mad. He's gonna go punch. Time for a rampage. <laughs> what do you got for uh, metal tests? Yeah. Nope. We're so gonna do a one. limited modified rampage. <laughs> We're going for a guns rampage, not a uh, other kind of rampage. Uh, Shoot Calhoun, so spotting test. So spotting test, needs a four. Gets yep. it. Uh, and then she'll be at long range and hard cover, so minus three, so I think she's hitting on eights. So, yeah, that's correct. Two pick the highest. Nope, oh, no miss. And it's over to me. We're gonna have Calhoun go. He needs a five. Gets it with a 10. Uh, and he'll aim and shoot back at uh, Miss Piggy. So we've got, uh, or sorry, Ensign Piggy. So we're at plus two, minus three overall. So we're gonna hit on a six. No, nope. you got a clock. All right, Brother Lane, what do you got? Gets two AP. So he's gonna lay down some guns. And that means he shoots twice and shoots six times total. Uh, because he, yeah, sorry, because he shoots three times, he's got burst. Shots from hail, uh, sorry, hang on nines, uh, six shots from hail, that's the first one. Just really dance. around. 
You are the Definitely the new Mr. Wemper, for sure. Um, and that's him done. And then we've got the boss. I'm on a three. No, he fails. He's wow. just going to pop a shot into Miss Piggy. Um, so he's got two shots. Sorry, uh, two to pick the highest. Short range, hard cover, so minus two. He's going to hit on sixes. Hits with a six. Not a double, so he doesn't run ammo. And it's strength seven. Defense six. Ten. No, she's down. Do oh. Trek, uh, might have to eject the warp core at this point. Uh, so you've got Saint Hubert, uh, but he broke this turn, so he's not feeling too good. Let's see what he's got for his morale. Or for his metal he's sword. He's fine. He's fine. He's laughing. He's super not he's fine. He's super not fine. He could move somewhere. You might also might want to just discretion is the better part of valor at this point. Oh yeah, I need a guy to explore at the end. You do need a guy to explore yeah, at the he'll, end. He'll move this way. <laughs> <laughs> the the end of turn six. Are watching me. I'm not sticking around. <laughs> We're gonna gain three VPs for the leader oh being here, God. and then four for the guys getting knocked out, and that's the game for the survivors of Vault 905. End of the game. Let's resolve some injuries. Let's see how we did with Joe Rowe. He got shot a whole bunch with lasers. Nine. Uh, so his. Oh, sorry. Survival table. Oh, it's the injury table. I'm looking at. We rolled one dice for survival table. Survival table. Six. He's banged up. Now uh, he's minus one penalty for the next campaign game, but he gets to take part. And that's it, he goes back to the warband. Oh, for Link Hogthrob? Don't roll that one. Six. Why would you say that right before I roll? <laughs> he's just banged up. Uh, so banged up. Is minus one for the next game, but otherwise he's okay. And some piggy. Hiya! Seven, she's Seven four Seven plus call, yeah. so she's fine. And then the doc. Dr. Swinepork. Who needs to not die next game. Ten. Ten, lucky break. Oh. He not only escaped harm, XP. but he gains the extra XP. Uh, so I'm a doctor, not a hand glider. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mallard. Nine. Nine Four plus twelve, so he's fine. Hooray! Atticus is going to get eight uh, for being uh, controlling the objective at the end, for being the winning warband leader, for taking part in the game goes to six. And he did two wounds. Uh, and then Brother Lane is going to get two for surviving the game and being part of the warband. Calhoun's going to get one for the wound he caused, plus one. And Joe Rose is going to get plus one for um, the wound he caused, plus surviving. Just enough to buy a level, so let's roll a d10 and see what he gets. Uh, so Atticus gets one. Choose a skill or mutation. He's going to learn reactive, which gives him plus one to activation tests. So that means that he'll motivate everyone around him and also basically get, do it for himself as well. So um, your XP, you don't have any advance this time around. It's time to go explore the wasteland. New wasteland exploration deck. I can send three guys. So I'm going to send Atticus, B Brother Lane, and um, Calhoun. So Atticus is going to find the Queen Hearts. Gambling Trader Part 1. This model approaches the trader and her heavily armed guards through a long-winded speech. The trader offers to sell the model a valuable weapon, but due to falling asleep during the conversation, the model's not actually sure what the weapon is. The model, <laughs> may, the model must pay for the gun or risk angering the twitchy guards the pay, the, and pays the trader 15 barter script. Afterwards, roll D10 and consult the following table. The model gains the weapon indicated, which is added to their weapons inventory. You gonna deal with the rest of these? Just see what my barter script is. Oh, <laughs> Jack of diamonds and nine. Um, so the nine is going to put me into the place where I can actually afford oh, this. Oh yeah, I guess you did need a number. I card. did. I needed at least one number card to be able to resolve this one and pay the fifteen because now I've got um, the thirteen that I got for my victory points in my bank plus nine is twenty two, which is going to go down to seven. So I have seven in the bank and I have to roll on this table to see what I've got. And I'm going to have a three. Pistol with the large caliber upgrade. It's a large caliber pistol, which we give to Brother Lane. Uh, and then let's see what we got for the, this was the Jack of Diamonds. Uh, Jack of Diamonds is... Disorderly contact. The model is approached by representative of the Order of the Mary Sue, the medical sisterhood <laughs> that operates out of Cumberland. The order is uh, in need to be of able-bodied wastelanders to act as temporary orderlies. If the model agrees, they'll miss the next D3 games and is completely inaccessible to the Warband for that duration. For each game they miss, they get 25 bar script. If I ignore it, the model does not agree. They get 10 D10 bar script for helping as general labor for the day. No one says no to the Mary Sues. <laughs> D10, I don't want to miss any games. I'll get 10 more. So I got a 7 Exploration for Saint Hubert. Seven bar scripts. Oh. Yeah, yeah, mine was 27, yours is 21. I forgot these are times three. Uh, so. 37. Then. Yes, and I had 13 plus 27 40. minus 15. Yep, so 40 25. is 25 and the extra 10, so 35. So if you're going shopping, we hired Babs here as another ragtag um, 
uh, Wastelander with an assault rifle. And uh, she's ragtag, so of course she can only have an assault rifle. Uh, the heavy pistol went to Blaine, I mean, Brother Lane. Uh, and then, of course, we leveled up the boss. Uh, so we're now up to five guys now in the Warband. That takes the Warband cost up to 430 plus that pistol. Uh, so probably about 445, and we're ready to rock and roll. Link and the crew are just gonna save their ducats. Yeah, so uh, none of them quite earned enough XP for an upgrade. Um, so they're gonna hold on to what they've got. They're gonna save the 22 barter script they picked up. Uh, I'm sorry, 20, 21, plus, right. the, um, plus they pick up one during the game, plus they had 15 from before, so they've got 37 saved up for after their next game. They'll probably nice. do some adding on. So there it was, end of the game, managing to drive back the Filthy Mutants to their spaceship. I thought the Filthy Mutants actually survived. <laughs> I, I was disappointed that my guys weren't able to drive off the Filthy the, Mutants. The, the, new, the new man, um, the, uh, was it, um, all, all animals are inherently equal, just some are more equal than others, that's what's happening here? Horrible man things, it's just <laughs> hairless apes running wild. Uh, and that's true, with the death of Napoleon, things have gone very wrong in uh, the former Republic of Swineland, now just the, uh, the what is it, the uh, Great Lakes Wasteland. So we're going to be back for Ashes to Ashes in two weeks. You'll be able to see us play the next mission from the new Wasteland Companion, um, run at our new warbands, and as uh, Link Hogthrob gets to uh, face down, and hopefully sort out his accusers, which are the, the remnants of Vault 905, as they march south from the hammer, trying to get away from the just rampaging FEV virus. I thought you were going to say freaks. just trying to get away from the hammer. That that Makes sense that's too. not what also makes sense. It's true. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll show you the uh, the next game um, in two weeks. Big thanks, Jay, for coming in. Big thanks, thanks you guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Ash. Have a great week. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.